What's the best way to organize a project for different VR target platforms when using the XR Interaction Toolkit? Uh, so you have an existing project, Unity 2022, which has been released to the Quest. However, I'm going to branch out to other platforms such as Steam, PC VR, Pico, PSVR 2, etc. So I would right now it is messy because you're using Unity 2022. So my recommendation there would actually be to upgrade to Unity 6 because they totally changed the way builds work and it's better. So Unity 6 now, instead of having like a different kind of build setup for each platform you have to do, they have a scene list that's kind of like a global scene list because they assume that you're going to want to export the same game to all the platforms. And then you have your, you know, your usual what platform are you going to use, but then also they give you build profiles. And so this is for stuff like I want to do the a build for the MetaQuest, and then you can go in and add in like a new build profile. There we go, add build profile, and then I can say I want another also Android add build profile, and so that one could be for the the Quest two, and now this one could be for the Quest 3 or something. So, or I can say this one's for, well, if, if it's going to be like also an Android, Pika, Pico. No, that's Pika. Let's, let's try to Pico. There we go. And so you can have two separate build profiles for the same target platform. And then it will, it will let you override the platform settings here in the Android, and then also let you override the player settings in here and override what scene the global scene list too so if you have one scene that's oriented towards you know one and one scene that's oriented towards the other you can go and swap those out and then inside of here it le lets you update the whole player everything in the player so the key store all the other like graphics kind of settings in here including your graphics api it would be cool if it lets you swap out the actual render pipeline or not render pipeline but like the urp asset so if you had one asset that was like super super performant for like the quest 2 and then let you swap out that for a less performant one i'm not i didn't see that there so you might have to like manually go and do that